Charles, I'm the Spanish chef, Omar Rally Boy, and today I'm going to show you how to cook the best patatas bravas ever. To make this recipe, we are going to need some potatoes, a light olive oil and an extra virgin olive oil, some sherry vinegar, a bit of water, onions, rosemary, parsley, garlic, a bit of sugar, salt, sweet smoked paprika, some spices like bay leaf, dried oregano, cumin, garlic, a lemon, an egg, and some chopped tomato tea. Being from Madrid, patatas bravas have been part of my life, because in Madrid, in every tapas bar you go, there is a real sense of competition, and we actually measure how good or bad a restaurant is by two things, the croquetas, how good they are or how bad they are, and the patatas bravas. So it's a real tradition to eat loads and loads of them when we meet friends and family. We're going to be doing three things for this recipe. The potatoes, then the brava sauce, and the alioli sauce. But first we're going to start with the potatoes. All you need to do is to cut them in sort of large chunks which are more or less even. You know, we all have different sized potatoes, but this is the size I'm choosing, so I'm going to stick to that. We're going to cook these potatoes in two different ways, with two different techniques. First, we're going to parboil them in hot water for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to roast them in the oven. I will mention that if you use a more floury style of potato, you'll get a bit more crispiness out of them, and if you use a waxy potato, they'll become a bit more softer in texture, a bit more buttery. After 10 minutes simmering, my potatoes are ready. All you need to do is to drain them and dry them properly. In the restaurants, we always deep fry the potatoes after either simmering them or cooking them slowly in the oil, confiting them. But here at home, I needed to find a different technique as it is rare that people own a fryer and I, I don't like frying too much at home unless it's strictly necessary. So we're just going to do sort of a traditional roasted potatoes. So I've just crushed a few garlic, well a whole head of garlic. I'm just going to divide them. You can see sort of they are kind of peeling and now I'm going to add the potatoes which they are part cooked, not fully cooked. Still, if you pierce them, you know, they're still a bit uh, raw in the middle and that's what we want because now we are going to add them, put them into the oven at about 180 degrees for a good 30 minutes. We are going to give them a good shake halfway and we are going to add the sprigs of, thyme, of rosemary later on. As you can see, I haven't put too many potatoes in my tray so they have a space to breathe and to roast evenly. But if you put too many on your roasting tray, I would recommend you to maybe shake them and stir them two or three times instead of only one. I like seasoning with salt at this later stage as you get some residual uh, salt crystals by the end which have a very nice bite. And in terms of the sprigs of rosemary, if I would have added it earlier on, they would have probably burned by the end and they would lose a lot of the fragrance and the aroma. I'm going to start by making the brava sauce. First, chopped onion. As well, one garlic clove. Thinly slice your garlic and place a small saucepan over medium heat with a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil. Add the onion, the garlic and a bay leaf and fry for about 10 minutes until it's sort of transparent or a light golden color. Then we're going to fry our spices. We're going to add the sweet smoked paprika, the cumin, the dry oregano and the chili flakes. Add as much or as little chili flakes as you like depending on the spicy levels you can handle and fry it for a minute before we stop the spices from burning by adding the sugar and the sherry vinegar. Give it a good stir and then add the tin of chopped tomatoes. You can use plum tomatoes as well or even natural tomatoes. You know, it tastes quite nice as well, but it changes the flavor quite a lot. And now we are gonna simmer it slowly for a good 45 minutes. 
you will see that it will reduce so add a little bit of water to adjust the right density of source that we want at 45 minutes it's exactly the right time you need to cook it remove the bay leaf and now we're gonna blend it in a jack blender or with a hand blender as well until very smooth if you like with bits do it a bit less but as you can see i'm completely blitzing it so it becomes a very thin sauce now i'm gonna show you how to make the easiest alioli ever and you need a jack or a glass uh, in where your hand blender just fits it makes things a lot easier first squeeze the juice of about half a lemon break an egg put it inside you're gonna season it with a bit of salt as well you could do this with sherry vinegar if you have some now i'm going to put a quarter of the oil of extra virgin olive oil and the three quarters remaining of a lighter olive oil or you could use even vegetable oil and now i've just steal three cloves of roasted garlic from my potatoes which are going to give it a very nice and subtle garlicky taste but not as strong as if it was raw bring your hand blender all the way to the bottom and leave it there blending for about five seconds after five seconds tilt the hand blender and that will allow to grab a bit more of the oil but without splitting and then slowly release it and bring it all the way to the top then just grab a bit of air and bring it up and down all the way to the bottom and take a look at that lovely texture let's start finishing the dish now with the help of a cloth and a slaughtered spoon start transferring those potatoes into your plate finally chop the fresh coriander and to finish off a, li a little sprinkle of sweet paprika a generous amount of this spicy brava sauce obviously put as much chili as you like or as little and as much amount as you want we all have different tastes in terms of our spicy levels a bit of alioli and to finish off some flat leaf parsley and this is the ultimate tapa, patatas bravas. I'm sure I've done a lot of madrileños proud like me. I hope you enjoy the recipe. I hope you try it. Let me know how it comes out in the comment box below. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it and subscribe.